Hello and welcome back to Gunu Home. There's a couple of rooms left to explore. Hopefully we won't find the body of our sister hanging in the attic. Eh. I have a strange feeling that this is what it, where it leads. Okay, this is laundry room. For some reason, I wanted to say, well, who the hell has their bathroom connected to? No, never mind, this is laundry room. Oh, I love this kind of rooms. I love greeneries. Accidental human. Oh, sometimes. Sometimes. Counseling. Oh, that doesn't lie. Do you think he found out about? What the Mmm... A fair? When the pen of Terence L. Greenbrier, dear cuz, I can tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for see sending along copies of the new edit editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't, the business, isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that complete John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that the no dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for unknown dimension to pursue. At the very last, at least I am grateful that John Russell's adventure didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future, of danger and excitement. The days where he muttered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you saved this time will be your own. Okay. Where we'll do it? Secret. Okay, secret door in the foyer under stairs. Midnight and five We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized. They were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried, and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Okay, I'm writing it down. One, ninety-six, three. I know it's from the pharmacy, but I must get a plate of puff paper, I don't know. Wait, we've been here. This is the guest room. Yeah, we've definitely been here, but we haven't seen that. We need to go back to foyer. I think we. Yep, this is definitely the. Uh, this is definitely faster way. We're already down. On the ground level, not in level, not in the basement level, luckily. And all you have to do is look for a secret passage over here. Bye, those. God freaking damn it, I hate you guys. Yep. Oscar? Attiki. Oh, the food pyramid. Okay, so finally something I can relate light to. In this house, is the saddest thing I've ever seen. 
I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, oh, it almost no. feels like Lonnie could still be here. No, 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 no. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. We should be running right now because I think she tried to commit suicide. Or she did. in the attic in Lonnie in my old spot and I missed the first two calls I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it and it was Lonnie on a payphone she'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it with the army and being a part and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did and that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Okay, all in all, I'm so glad it ended the way it did, because it usually ends in that. <laughs> I wonder what's this one ninety. <gasps> I know. Resume the safe. There's still that. Don't don't don't. There's still that one safe we haven't opened. But I'm glad it just Katie that Katie ran away. Wait, Katie? No, that's Sam. That's Sam ran away with Earl. Yes, I already forgot. I keep f ah, I forget names, okay? I'm very bad with names when plus I'm stressed out because we have to walk through wolf. Yep. Uh, so where the hell is that thing? You have it marked? I thought it was somewhere in the basement. It was somewhere in the basement. So we will go back. This man. So, hmm, what was I? It, yeah, I'm glad that it turned out that she didn't kill herself. Because it, it's usually how those stories about someone missing and we walk around, around the house looking for them, it's usually how they end. I was just so stressed out, thinking that, no, it will be another one of those stories. I... It made me sad. Just like that. Wait. Don't send her. Dear sister, I write that what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered, one way or the other. I feel a prisoner, as on an island, with no jailer, and there's some... Okay, I think I have a phantom cord ripping out my leg. Never mind. I feel a prisoner as on an island with no jailer, no human soul for commu commune, only my own mind examine itself endlessly. 
endlessly searching for relief. In the years since transgression I have sought no absolution, only bare forgiveness. In good faith I have removed myself for all, from all temptation, sacrifice to prove my commitment however I can imagine. Since mother's passing I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin, to be treated as human again, to breathe the air of human spirit once more. By grace even a wretch, wretch like me could be saved. They do not expect it. If not the response is received, I shall henceforth accept my sentence, and one day simply cease to be a brother's love always. Oscar Mason Morphine Oh no. Okay, this amount of morphine should be able to kill a person. Or iron balls holds. Okay, was I supposed to find this first? Okay, I think I must might have messed up the <laughs> I think I was supposed to find this first. Be even more concerned for the sister. I don't know. Uh, I think that concludes the story. Yeah, I'm saying that and hoping that nothing's gonna jump out on me. Any minute now? Yeah. So... That's it. Ah! Only I could call our parents to tell them what happened. So, that's it. That's the whole story. No, thank you very much. I should can go out. So, stay alive and see you soon. Bye!